up YouTube? Well, I had just gotten a new piece uh, of gear, so to speak, uh, made by Gerber. Uh, there's only a few reviews on this thing, and they're pretty old. Um, well, it is the Gerber Curve. Mmm, yes. This cute little thing. <laughs> well, my first impressions was, uh, it looked really good. Um, for its size, it looked useful. Um, but, uh, I haven't used all the tools on this thing, but I do have two gripes. This Phillips head, um, is, uh, pretty flat. You really can't get into anything, um, with this. You might, uh, maybe some, something very loose. But, uh, I doubt it. It feels shallow to the touch. Uh, and, uh, it's got a, oh, well, it had a, uh, clip that you can attach, uh, that you could use to attach to your keys. It's, it's supposed to be a, a key multi-tool keychain multi-tool. Um, its size very small. Um, the blade length on this probably be about let's say inch and a half, maybe two inches. Uh, forgot to measure it. But, uh, the blade, out the package, very sharp. Um, one of the many good things about it. Uh, it does have, what, one, four, five, six tools on it. Uh, I say six because, well, it's got the knife, the, uh, standard large screwdriver um, Phillips head or their lack of and see if I can get in close a little file I believe on this side, it's a diamond pattern. This side, just an angle. Uh, then it's got a precision standard screwdriver. All of these blades do lock, and the lockup is pretty strong. Uh, I do have to say that the main blade wiggles back and forth a little bit, but uh, from the feel of it, the locking mechanism, which is uh, inside, is holding up really good. Uh, you just pull it back, lower it. Ooh, dropped it. Oh, is that small. Very easy to drop. You can lose this thing pretty easy. But, uh, I went ahead and got it anyways. I saw the reviews. I thought it looked awesome. Um, I like how they, uh,
put little picture illustrations for the uh, unsmart, like me. <laughs> um, that's uh, to unlock, you pull this way. That's what it says. And bottle opener right there. I like that. It's awesome. Haven't tried the bottle opener. Uh, I might one day. I don't drink very much. Uh, I guess that's one of my good aspects. I smoke cigarettes like a locomotive, but uh, I don't drink hardly at all. Very rarely. Um, but the construction of this thing, pretty solid. Other than the, uh, the blade wiggling a little bit strong, very sharp, um, out the box. But, uh, I can do this. Gotta use two hands. Fairly easy to, uh, open or get to all your tools. Go ahead and take down the magnifying glass. Uh, pretty easy. I like it. Um, I like them manipulate it pretty good. Um, they got uh, some grooves in here so you can fit your nail in pull every piece out and they all lock I don't know if I or I, I can't remember if I mentioned that before but they all do lock which is awesome and uh, they fold in or when they close it's uh, it's got a pretty mild I guess spring when it closes and uh, pretty secure. These blades aren't going to come out uh, or unfold on themselves or, or on their own. Ooh, I opened it with one hand. I did do a, a strop on this blade. Uh, sorry I can't do a, a cut test I'm using one hand um, using my phone or now my wife's son. <laughs> but uh I did do a cut test and it was just slicing through after the strop. Uh it was just slicing through the paper. Like oof, I don't know. Like a razor blade. And the blade width not that thick, but uh much thicker than a Victoria Knox. Uh, classic. So, I was debating on on getting one of these or the Victorian Ox. Uh, I thought this this looked a lot better, and it had more useful tools that uh, I would actually use. Um, and plus, it it locks everything locks open securely, and all that. Uh, I wouldn't mind having a Victorian Ox Classic SD. They go for about the same price. Um, well, this is going a little bit more in store. Um, <clears throat> I actually picked this thing up at REI. Um, store. Uh, so, they had it in stock, and the price online is the same price uh, in store. Uh, after taxes, it came out to twelve dollars and seventy-six cents. Uh, so that was that was pretty good. You can get them cheaper through Amazon, uh, but as far as the stores. If you're old school like me, <laughs> um, you're gonna 
have a hard time trying to find a good price on one of these things. Um, so, would I recommend this to people? Yes. I mean, honestly, I mean, as, as cheap as it is, um, you could get it cheaper on line, but, uh, and you can find these things in store. Uh, Dick's Sporting Goods sells them, but they're selling for like 16 bucks. Hell no, not for this little thing. Um, does it have a warranty? I doubt it. The blade steel for this tool is Gerber's Mystery Blade, I guess. I couldn't find any information on it. Uh, been looking for a long time, um, cause this caught my eye, and it's, it's been something that I really wanted, I know that sounds kind of corny, but I think it looks awesome, and, uh, I believe I could use this every day, um, especially if I'm wanting to pack light, as far as my EDC, uh, this would make a uh, a good supplement to a lot of things that I do carry, uh, such as my blade, um, my uh, screwdriver set, <laughs> um, that sort of thing. I get a little bonus, a little bottle opener. They still do make the. Uh, soda bottle or coca-cola bottles the glass ones so I'll probably try one of those or I might just run into a rough day buy a beer <laughs> and uh, I'll make sure it's not the twist top kind uh, but uh, it is affordable it has some good value uh, there's better stuff out there um, if you're willing to spend a couple more bucks, you can get a Leatherman, what is it, Style CS, the real small, no, the Leatherman Style, it's just a, it's a little bit taller, much slimmer, um, it has a blade and I think one or two more tools to it. It's very small. Might be a little bit longer than this thing. I checked that out too, but it was for an even 20. Um, would have been more after taxes, but uh, I wanted to get a couple more things. So. You might hear my kids in the background. <laughs> Sorry. But, uh, yeah. Gerber Curve. YouTube, have a good one. And, uh, yeah. Comment, sub, do what you like.